Hey, what is up everyone? I am Demon Cringe and today I got a channel update for you guys and gals. Yes everyone, um, I did not make one of these in a while. That is because I haven't had any uh, stories or experiences cool enough to put in one of these, but finally now I have one. So obviously if you already uh, read the title of the video, you know what I'm going to be talking about. Uh, but before I get to that, I want to say that I am almost done with writing the script for this month's Ugliest Cartoons Ever video. And it's going to be pretty funny and I'm going to be talking about some uh, cartoon from the very, very late, uh, you know, final days of the... Uh, you know sea and dark ages it's gonna be a uh, nice and all that so i hope you're all stoked for that one and now on to the main thing yes ladies and gentlemen i have finally got myself a gaming chair and my god folks my back is just uh, i cannot describe how much my back is thanking me right now oh my god so of course you're looking at it right now on the screen it is pretty cool i honestly really wanted to get a blue one you know but unfortunately for some stupid ass reason the blue was like considerably more expensive than the green or red which really sucks and all that stuff. I really don't know why the hell they would charge extra for just a different color. But anyway, it is pretty cool that I finally got myself one. And this is pretty much the very first chair that I have that actually has a backrest that goes all the way to my head. Which is like super awesome. And honestly folks, compared to my previous chair, this is an absolute godsend. Because, you know, the whole uh, lumbar neck support thing and all that. Uh, my previous chair had a backrest that only went up to like the bottom of my neck. Another thing that I also like about it is that it basically forces you to sit with proper posture which is really really great since uh, obviously if you're not sitting with proper posture your body's gonna be really angry at you when you get old and all that. Now the thing that really made me go looking out for a new chair is uh, well two things happened with the old one okay so the first thing that happened you know that little plastic part that sticks out of the uh, base you know that uh, controls the swing and all that stuff with the uh, big metal spring so basically that whole thing that controls the swing uh, what happened with it is that uh, uh, there's actually a lug nut uh, that uh, is like stuck to the bottom of that plastic thing and I kid you not, that thing snapped off. And uh, when I saw how it looked like, you know, uh, uh, like on the other side of the lug nut, the thing was actually glued inside, okay? Like, they literally uh, use glue instead of, you know, just uh, securing it tightly in place so that it doesn't, you know, fall off and all that. They just glued it, and I tried to glue it back together, but unfortunately, uh... Yeah, the plastic already gave out, you know, uh, the glue held on for like a few hours and then the plastic just snapped off. So I figured, hey, you know, like uh, even though the swaying is busted, you know, at least I can lean back on it and all that stuff. Uh, so I just screwed on the lug nut all the way to the top, you know, I couldn't sway on it anymore. I really don't care about that. Honestly, I just want to make sure that it works. But then fast forward a few days later and uh, guess what? You know, uh, my old chair had that little... um. Uh, I don't know, I don't know how you call it, but basically all mess chairs basically have this, uh, plastic back part, it's kind of like a fake lumbar support and all that, and, uh, that thing actually snapped off as well, yeah, it snapped in half, and, uh, I tried to super glue it, but unfortunately it just, uh, wouldn't hold on, and, uh, yeah. I was basically boned. So I thought to myself, hey, you know, uh, I always wondered what all the hubbub is about gaming chairs, so I thought uh, about getting myself one. The problem is, um, in my country, you know, in all the shops, uh, gaming chairs are like really, really mad expensive. Honestly, they are like super expensive. So after a day of searching, you know, like uh, not a single shop in my city actually has an affordable gaming chair, you know, I went to eBay and I finally found uh, this one that was only a hundred bucks. And I am not kidding you folks, like, uh, you want to know what the funny thing is? The old chair that I had, that chair, I bought that for $50, okay? And I kid you not, that chair, I actually bought that chair at a 50% discount, okay? So that chair that I had, you know, like, a, like it was super small and all that, uh, the back just didn't go up to, all the way up to your head, that chair was priced at $100. And I am honestly not surprised at all that they reduced the price to like 50%. Honestly, like that is not a $100 chair, folks. That is not a hundred dollar chair. It's something that just breaks down within a year and all that stuff. No. And obviously, everyone, I'm not gonna be throwing the old chair out. I'm gonna be keeping it around in case I need it for something else and blah blah blah. If something happens with this one, I always got a replacement. But the funny thing that happened, okay, is something with the post office. And uh, you're probably expecting another funny post office story, right? Well, I'm actually here to disappoint you because uh, it wasn't my country's postal service that delivered it. It was actually some. German DPD service and you want to know what the funny thing is it did not even take a week for that chair to get here Okay, not even a week and for my country's post like even if something gets into the country It takes them uh, so long to actually get it over here. It's like so embarrassing Unbelievable and I am super happy that uh, another service delivered it because I probably would have been waiting a a hell of a lot longer if my country's postal service was uh, delivering it and all that. So yeah, everyone, uh, that is about it. The King of Cringe finally has a proper throne and me and my back cannot be happier. Anyway, everyone, thank you all so much for watching this little update. I hope you're anticipating the uh, 
you know, the, this month's, uh, this month's uh, ugliest cartoons ever. Now, of course, if I won't be done with that video by the end of this month, I will be uploading two uh, ugliest cartoons ever videos in March, you know, so uh, be on the lookout for that. Anyway, everyone, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and press the little bell icon. And if you wish to support me in a different way, my Patreon link is in the description below. And as always, I'm Demon Cringe, and I'll be seeing you guys and gals in the next video.